Hi Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Two of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Aries, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement Clarify the Two of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Two of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Two of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. So, Aries, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, okay? And you guys are exchanging passionate messages, reuniting here. But you could also tell me in this soulmate connection, there's a third party because we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Gemini. 
But you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there is another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aries, listen. You can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Aries, listen, we could have this argument going on over some type of an agreement, maybe with work or business dealing with these coins here, because you felt like you had just cause to celebrate, but something may have changed here. Aries, you could also tell me that you guys had this tip attack, tug of war, toe to toe going on over there being a third party. Someone has another other lover, and you could be pissed and ending things here, Aries. Aries, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the six of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the six of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the six of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the ten of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now, you can tell me that they're giving something here or trying to bring balance that may cause you to come out of feeling a sense of betrayal. However, Aries, you can tell me this betrayal is someone shortchanging you with some type of an agreement, maybe work or business here. Or this betrayal is the fact that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two with a third party. Aries, you have the emperor. This is you, Aries or Taurus. But the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Aries. Clarify the emperor for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the emperor for Aries. It is clarified with the ace of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory, but this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication, yes? You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. Quite possibly, there's a betrayal. You can tell me that you're making a decision or using the sword to sever. Aries, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles 
for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries. Leo or Sagittarius, the King of Wands. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the King of Wands for Aries. Clarify the King of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the King of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Tower. The Tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aries, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed here, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, listen, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now, Aries, very well could have been some type of shocking revelation. You could have come into some type of truth and clarity here. And maybe you're needing to make a decision. You're doing some heavy-duty soul searching concerning this person you have some, with some, some type of stability with. However, Aries, you can tell me that there's been a shocking revelation. And you're breaking up with this person. That you just need some me time. That you're using this sword to sever over this betrayal. Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.